Hello, my name is Max Fan, and I studied both VC English and VC Literature in 2021. While I was studying those two courses, I was struck by the lack of publicly available high quality resources on these two subjects and on the texts that they covered. Resources were either low quality and lackluster, or they were often locked behind paywalls, things that I had to pay $20 or $30 a month or even a week in order to access. That was money that I was unwilling to spend, but I thought it was quite unfair that I was therefore receiving uh, online resources that were in some way inferior. So, what I hope to do with this channel is to remedy the problem that I faced at the beginning of the year, and to offer all of you uh, insights into the texts that we're talking about that I would, in my personal opinion, think are valuable and of use. So, uh, that is sort of the goal from this point going forwards. What I hope to build here is then a sort of community of learners, uh, people who read these texts and are passionate about them, not just as uh, English exam texts, though they certainly are that, and we'll be talking about them in that context, uh, but also who love these texts for what they are, uh, plays, films, novels, uh, that are made not with the purpose of examination, but with the purpose of telling us something uh, about the human condition. Uh, that is, after all, why the examiners choose these texts for us, because they think that they will be instructive to us young people in some way, and whether they're right or not, uh, I think that that's at least worth giving a fair shot. I want to also ver make very clear uh, what I hope this channel isn't, uh, or what I know it isn't. Uh, it isn't a career choice, um, and I don't intend to make money off of it. There's a reason why no video on this channel is monetized. Firstly, uh, because I can't fairly claim to have ownership over anything I say on this channel. Uh, English is a unique subject in a way, uh, because the wisdom of this subject is passed down uh, from critics to our teachers to us. Um, and I think it's important to recognize that, uh, that in the instances of plays like The Women of Troy, criticism on it has literally been happening for millennia. Um, so I can't claim to have rights over the things that I'm talking to you about. Instead, uh, they are the product of me often sitting in front of a page and thinking, but that thinking uh, is obviously going to be informed by the conversations of the classroom, is going to be informed by uh, my conversations with peers, is going to be informed by the teaching that I've received over the past six years, and in particular in the past two. So I hope not to monetize this, because I think that that would be unfair to those who are uncredited in that process. I also hope it's not a career, because I never want to make a video that I don't think is genuinely helpful um, for the purposes of monetary gain or lining my own pockets. I think the day that I do that is the day that I find myself doing something that's absolutely counterproductive uh, to what my goals are with this channel. The second thing uh, that I hope this isn't is a replacement for the classroom. There is no replacement for the classroom. There is no replacement for your teacher and your conversations with your own peers. Uh, you will find those some of the most rewarding times in your school life, and I really encourage you to engage in those, but also um, to do something that I found very, very difficult, uh, which is to take on the criticism of your teachers. They know you better than you know yourself very often, uh, and the harder you push back, the less you end up learning. The final thing uh, that I hope this isn't is a definitive opinion. Uh, there are going to be a variety of interpretations on these texts. There are no right solutions, so there are probably wrong ones. Um, but I hope to offer you, I guess, a sort of holistic consideration um, of the varieties of interpretations that may exist. But I can't cover everything. Um, I'll obviously miss things, and that doesn't delegitimize them, uh, or vice versa. Uh, and finally, I want to acknowledge uh, my two teachers across this year. Uh, the first uh, is Mr. Kane, who taught me English, and Mr. Martin, who taught me literature. Uh, without their help, I would not love these texts as much as I do. Uh, I would not be making this channel, uh, because I wouldn't care for them. Uh, but in fact, uh, I do, and that's to their immense credit. Um, finally, on to the logistics. Um, I intend to cover Women of Troy first. Uh, what we'll do there is a page-by-page, uh, line-by-line breakdown of the text. Um, the analytical details that I think will be useful uh, for you to analyze, but also um, that I, to me, contextualize the purpose of Euripides as a playwright staging that at the Festival of Dionysus, and uh, Taylor as a playwright staging that 
worked in a modern theatre um, and the implications therein. Alright, uh, well, bye for now. See you then.